All right, we are here with Big Boy again, and we are gonna work on his stand command. As you notice, stand, no idea what I'm talking about. We hope maybe we can capture on camera how we might charge up the stand command. So first things first, we're gonna see if we can't food lure him into a stand. He gets a little stressed out coming to the edge of the table, so I wanna let him know when he does come to the edge of the table and offers me that beautiful stand that we are gonna pay big money for that. So once we have a beautiful food lure established, which it's on its way there, we can start to establish hand commands for, for the down and or the sit. Now when we do teach sits and downs and stands, we need to generalize that going into the stand can happen from a sit or a down. Hence you need to work all three in conjunction with each other. If you just work sits and downs, then guess what the dog's gonna do after they sit? They're gonna down right, because they're gonna get into the rhythm. What we do is we break that rhythm and offer up a third command, the stand. And that allows us to 